Okay, hello again, beautiful calculus students. We're going to uh, wrap up section 10.4 uh, with this discussion of the slope at the pole. So this is actually a very interesting thing, the slope of the tangent lines to the curve at the pole. So let me uh, page ahead here for a moment. So we've got this curve, 2 cos 3 theta, and if we wanted to plot what that looks like, we've got 2 there. Okay, we'll put some points on here. Here we are on the pole axis when theta equals 0. Cosine is 1, so we start start here, and it's going to go like this, and this, and this. Okay, not very pretty, but you get the idea. It's got three petals. And what we're asking about is what is the slope of the line at the pole? So you can see here, I've got one line doing that, and we've got another line doing this, and there's a third one right here, okay? How can I find the slopes of those things? So let's go back to uh, theorem 1012. Yeah, so we have this very interesting thing. So at the pole, of course, at the pole is the origin. At the pole, where are we here? Um, passes through the pole here. Um, that means f of theta is zero, right? So, that, so we're gonna call that alpha. Okay, so at theta equals alpha, the r is zero, right? So r, equals zero at f of alpha. Okay, so that means these terms drop out, and so we're left with this, but that means these terms cancel, and so we have this. And you might recall from algebra one, or, or algebra two, or geometry, that the slope of a line is also the tangent of the angle, right, a line through the origin. So suppose I had a line like this, and we have the rise over the run, so y, and x, well the slope is, in this case, is y over x because uh, we're starting at the origin and the tangent, so that's our angle theta, the tangent of the angle theta is opposite over adjacent, you know, opposite over adjacent, which is just y over x. So we see that the slope, the slope is the same thing as the tangent when the line goes to the origin. Okay, so that's what we have wrapped up in our theorem. Let me clean off some of these lines here. Okay, so our theorem tells us that uh, for alpha, that goes to the pole, so the f of alpha, which is the radius, the f of alpha, f of alpha is zero, so it goes to the pole, and of course, the derivative is not zero because that would mean that the denominator here was zero, so we can't have that. So if it goes to the pole at an angle alpha, then the line, that corresponds to theta equals alpha is tangent to the pole to the graph of our given function. Okay, that's what we illustrated here. Okay, so we have, you know, this, as our, our line comes through here, goes to the pole, that means this is tangent, that line theta is tangent to the graph. And what is that, by the way? That means, let's see, f of theta equals zero, so cos three theta equals zero. And we know, by the way, that, uh, so that means three theta, you know, cosine is zero at pi over two, and three pi over two, so three theta is pi over two, uh, three pi over two, and so on, uh, five pi over two. So that means this first one will be uh, theta equals pi over six, right, dividing both sides by three. So that's this one, so this slope here is pi over six, that's the line theta equals pi over six, and then our line keeps going through to here. Okay, and that happens at this one, and so that means our other tangent is, let's go back to green, our other tangent is three pi over six, or pi over two, and then our line keeps going around like this and down to here, where it goes through the pole again, and so this line is our tangent, and that corresponds to the next tangent at the pole, and that is this one. And so the slope of the tangent at the pole there is, or not the slope, but the line tangent to the pole there is the line corresponding to this one. So that's theta equals, uh, that's five pi over six. So these are the equations of the lines tangent to the curve at the pole. And that's a pretty common question uh, in polar
calculus and on your homework tonight. Okay, so that's it.